Question 11, we've got a pair of axes, x, y axes. Write down the coordinates of point G. Well, point G is here. Okay, so it is 4 across and 3 up. Sometimes you're told to remember that it as along the corridor first and up the stairs. So to write the 4 first. So it's 4 across, x is 4, and 3 up, 4, 3. Write down the coordinates of point H. Well, point H is this one here. Just be careful not to make a mistake here. Um, along the corridor, or back along the corridor as it were, negative 4, and then down the stairs, negative 1. Okay, so just because it's in the other quadrant, other uh, quarter of the, of the graph as it were, don't make a mistake. Go along first, negative 4, and then go down, negative 1. So negative 4, negative 1. Okay? Uh, next part, find the coordinates of the midpoint of G, H. Well, the first thing I do is get my ruler out and I draw a line between G and H. Now, for me, I can actually quite easily see that that there must be the midpoint. I don't know if you can see that as well. You could obviously, what you could do, for example, um, is if you got your ruler, Um, say if your ruler, I don't know what it measures, say if it was 10, you can clearly see that's 5, so that's the midpoint. The alternative way of looking at it, uh, you might just say to yourself, with, uh, you might just say, well, I've gone along from negative 4 to 4, 8, um, so if I go halfway along, I'll go along just 4, and I've gone along um, upwards, let's say, one, two, three, four squares. So I'm going to go up two squares. So one, two. So you could find another way of getting there is there. Now you found it. All you've got to do is write the thing down. The coordinates there, how much across uh, from the origin, you always measure from the origin, well it's zero across and one up. So you'd write your answer as zero, one. And you're done.